What's up guys, we're back here again on The Cinema Show. Today I'm gonna to talk about what I take on a day-to-day -day basis um, on a run and gun, really. So, I'm gonna split this up into three parts. Main camera, stabilization, and what I use for audio as well. So, what camera do I use? I use a Sony a7 III, absolutely amazing camera. Um, right now, currently I'm using a 24 to 70. Sorry, my bad, 28 to 70. Um, so the amazing thing about this camera and the reason why I chose it is because this can be uh, used for photography and videography. It's also uh, known for its low light capabilities, absolutely amazing while in the dark as well, so it helps in low light situations. The only downside to this, I'd say, is the flip out, sorry, it hasn't got a flip out screen, it's only got a tilt screen. Mm. It's workable, but, you know, I think with the Sony A7S III, they've, they've switched that up. It, it works, it works, it's still good. This is an amazing camera for B-roll. Um, it's, it's lightweight, it's quick, it's nippy. If I wanna go out and just, you know, go for a quick shoot, I don't have to plan anything, I just take a few photos. You know, I can transfer everything over to my phone straight away and start editing on my phone if I need to. Now the current lens that I use, obviously, is a 28 to 70, 3.5 to 5.6. So it's not the best of lenses, but it's, it's workable. So in some low light situations, it's not the best, but I am planning to actually upgrade uh, to another zoom lens, which is a Sigma 24 to 70, 2.8. I've seen a lot of reviews on that. It seems very good. So let's see how that goes. Now in scenarios where I need to take videos and it's, overblown with sunlight outside you know what do i do i use an nd filter you can bump up the aperture but then what that tends to do is it, it gets rid of the bokeh so you don't get that natural nice depth of field um, with this you can actually tone everything down it's like putting sunglasses on let's say for your camera and uh, it just changes the game so i'd say definitely get a uh, variable nd filter that way you don't have to keep switching on to different filters but yeah definitely a must um yeah Right, so the next one is what do I use for my stabilization? I use a Ronin SC, absolutely nif nifty thing. Wow, um, a very lightweight compared to the Ronin S. I've actually held one of those before. It's um, good for mirrorless cameras, so I won't actually have to worry about that. I can fit it in my bag very easily, I can just take it around. Um, can hold a max payload, I think, of about 2 kg. Uh, the only problem with that is, you know, when you start getting larger lenses and everything, you won't be able to put it on. You'll start needing maybe the Ronin S or the Ronin RS2. Battery life, what is it like? Very good. Honestly, I don't know how long it lasts, but all I know is that it lasts for at least a whole day without um, any issues really. So I've gone for a whole wedding shoot throughout the whole day, um, turning it on and off, and it still had about 50% battery life left in it. So very good battery life. Would I need another handle? Probably not. Uh, how long does it take to charge? Probably a few hours, a couple hours, but yeah, very good. So how much do one of these gimbals go for? It goes for about, well, how much should I pick up for? About 350, uh, brand new. I think you can get it a lot cheaper now, even if you want to get it second hand. But yeah, this is very amazing. You can go on the app, you can do a lot on this, yeah. So what do I use for my audio? Um, because I actually film weddings and we like to do interviews as well, we need something lightweight, quick. Um, something that can be hidden as well. So I actually use the Rode mic. This is just a wind muff, but usually we use a lavier mic on that as well. So we just attach it onto the body and you know, you, can, you can't really see it, but very good mic. Yeah, I think you can use it away from about hundred meters away. Um, battery life on this, a couple of hours. We actually got the two pack one. So if you know, someone's having a discussion, then they can just talk to each other, but very good. Um, you can take this anywhere around, you won't even notice it. it's in your pocket. Lightweight. So now I'm going to set it up, so... Right. So yeah, this is a setup. Sony A7 III. Got the Rode mic and the Ronin SC. Uh, amazing setup. It's very easy, quick, simple, light. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I uh, hope you liked the video. Let me know what other videos you want me to create. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're always up to date. And peace. Bro, and it'll be, it'll be actually more. Hello, sir! Can't get better than this. Okay, you can, but yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> lightweight. Lightweight. Yo, yo, I might have to start saying lightweight to everything, I right? Lightweight. Lightweight. 